Why do people faint? Whether it's a swoon or a shock, what causes that momentary collapse? Let's look at this in more detail. The medical term for fainting is syncope. Fainting is a sudden loss of consciousness, usually temporary and typically caused by a lack of oxygen in the brain. Fainting is most commonly caused by a temporary malfunction in the autonomic nervous system. This type of fainting is sometimes known as neurally mediated syncope. The autonomic nervous system is made up of the brain, nerves and spinal cord. It regulates automatic bodily functions, such as heart rate and blood pressure. An external trigger, such as an unpleasant sight, heat or sudden pain, can temporarily cause the autonomic nervous system to stop working properly, resulting in a fall in blood pressure and fainting. It may also cause your heartbeat to slow down or pause for a few seconds, resulting a temporary interruption to the brain's blood supply. This is called visceral syncope. Syncope is a mechanism used by the brain to help us survive. If brain blood and oxygen levels drop considerably, the brain immediately shuts down all other non-vital parts of the body so that resources can focus primarily on vital organs. What to do if you feel faint? Don't stay standing up. Find somewhere to either sit or lie down. If you manage to sit down, place your head between your knees. When you do get up, do so slowly. If you see somebody fainting, place the patient on his or her back, facing up. If the individual is breathing, raise their legs about 12 inches above heart level to restore blood flow to the brain. Try to loosen all belts, ties, collars and restrictive clothing. When the person comes round, do not let them get up too quickly. If they remain unconscious for more than about a minute, put the patient into the recovery position and get emergency medical help. Check the patient's airway for any obstruction. Check for vomiting. Check for breathing, coughing or movement, signs of circulation. If you cannot detect any, start CPR cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Continue administering CPR until either help arrives or the patient starts breathing on his or her own. If the individual was injured, and is bleeding after the fall, apply direct pressure to control the bleeding. People should consult with their doctor in certain situations like Before losing consciousness there were chest pains, arrhythmia, irregular heartbeat, or a pounding heartbeat, palpitations. Fainting resulted in an injury. If the fainting was preceded by fecal incontinence, or the fainting was preceded by urinary incontinence, or there is a history of heart disease, or in case if they are pregnant, or if they experience recurring episodes of syncope, don't ignore if they have diabetes, and they were unconscious for more than a few minutes. Hope you get an idea why people faint and what are the causes of fainting. Do share your thoughts on this. Why do people faint at weddings? Why do people faint on roller coasters? And concerts? And sometimes at churches? See you in comments section, thumbs up if you like this episode and make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with informative videos from suggested by you. Thanks for watching.